colleagues and friends, it gives me great pleasure and honor to warmly welcome you on behalf of the Early Childhood Peace Consortium to this lunch event on this very, very special day when UN member states, UN system entities, civil society organizations, media and the private sector are meeting to renew their commitment and to find ways and means to strengthen the global movement to promote the culture of peace, thus changing the tide of violence that is marking our world today. We all know that violence is threatening the peace and securities of families and communities, where their homes are no more safe havens, where their schools and streets become battlefields, like what we saw in Gaza, what we see in Central African Republic, in Syria and other countries. All this disrupting the fabric of their society, compromising the rights of its most vulnerable citizens, the children, that are most vulnerable to violence. Today, the Early Childhood Peace Consortium launched at UNICEF last September in partnership with UNICEF, with the Alliance of Civilizations, with Yale University and the Education Foundation, which is a Turkish organization known as ASHEF and the Fetzer Institute. We want to join forces with the international community to advance global and national efforts to prevent violence, laying the foundation of a sustained peace through the transformative power of early childhood development. Today, we have with us a very distinguished panel, a high-level panel, to tell us why these transformative solutions, these new approaches, as the Secretary General was talking about this morning, are important for a peaceful future, recognizing the vital role of families and children in creating a just and peaceful world, supported by scientific evidence and good practice.